Okay, so today I'm going to use what which most likely is the wrong stuff for this job, but it is the right color. <laughs> um, you're supposed to use something called lap sealant. Well, I ran out on the roof, so and I can't seem to find the right color in the stores around here. I know you can order gray lap sealant. Uh, online but kind of don't feel like waiting I'm gonna try this it does say it's good for metal it does say it's freezing rain uh, doesn't shrink blah 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 it says everything the other one says so it might might just work I can't be doing anything well I can't be doing much outside today I am doing something out there but I won't be filming it um, it, winter came back again. It's minus 15 when we had like a, a month or so of spring-like weather. All the snow was melting. Well, now it's kind of all ice and very cold out. Uh, well, like I said, I do have to do something out there. I have to do an oil change, but I'm going to try to do that. Um, in fast forward, I have to do it very quickly so I stay warm and uh, so my fingers don't freeze off. Anyways, let's get, oh, one more thing about the oil change. This is going to sound like a, a commercial. Okay, you're going to be thinking, what? Don't do that, idiot. Well, I'm not going to change the filter. I have a filter here. I use these K&N. They're expensive. They're 20 bucks each. Uh, not to mention the oil now. It was uh, on sale for 32 bucks for five liters. Ooh, what a deal. Anyways, um... In order to be fast out there, and the fact is that I just don't have to change the filter every time, I usually do. Uh, especially when I used to use those cheap filters, those uh, the orange ones. I won't say what company it is, but orange filter, black lettering, you might guess. Anyways, now I use k and I am in no way a filterated with k and but um, I think originally I bought this, these filters because they have this cool thing where you can put a socket or a wrench on it if it's too tight. So I, I think that's why I first bought them. But now I was thinking, well, I don't really want to change the filter. I just put one in uh, 5,000 kilometers ago. So I start reading the box. These filters, 32,000 kilometer protection, it says. So that's, that's 20,000 miles. Uh, yeah, 20,000 miles. So, I mean, theoretically, I wouldn't have to change it. I'd have to change it like every four times, every fourth time or whatever. But, I mean... If I don't change the filter every once in a while, no big deal if they're good for that long. Anyways, back to this. I will say, I <laughs> normally I, I don't have the patience for this kind of thing, so I probably won't get very far. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you me doing the whole thing either. Like my other camper, I, I just glooped it on there. There was no masking it off. And, well, you can tell. You can tell I just glooped it on there. It looks like crap. So, I thought I'd try to do it a little better this time.
Okay, yes, at that, this rate, I can see it taking me about six months to do this. Since I can't see, I'm gonna have to lay on the ground. Okay, the fact that I have little to no patience, I decided not to mask it off. Gotta put way more when it comes down into these little valleys on the tin. You have to compensate for that. I would just like to get this done really fast so I can actually start throw this camper on and start using it because this is pretty much this and a few other minor things and it can permanently go on onto the truck. Whoa, wait! can't do the white section okay so I just do that and I run my finger down there there must be no cracks in it it has to be perfect because leaking is bad okay that was that was pretty good uh, I imagine I should go down this one side here too You can barely notice. Color matches up pretty, pretty good with that uh, tin. Now I should say, to the untrained eye, it might appear that I have no clue what I'm doing. Well, the untrained eye would be correct. A little bit shaky today. It's a different day. I had to stop. My wrist was sore yesterday. If you're still watching, either you uh, forgot your controller at the other end of the room and you're just too lazy to get up and turn it off, or you're legitimately interested in this. <laughs> um, I have. I don't know if you know this or know how to work it, but uh, there's anybody interested in this camper stuff, there's a playlist. If you go onto my channel, there's a playlist, different playlists, and there is one that's all to do with the renovation of this camper, and it covers pretty much everything. Now, filling these cracks, you have to get good penetration into the crack. 
That's very, that's very important. Okay, that's pretty well got her for this side. Um, now I'm going to go over some of the other ones again. I won't film it. Uh, I didn't lay it on thick because I wanted it to dry, so I, I'll just go over it again, second coat, and uh, should be good. If you're still watching, thanks for watching.